Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome back to another live stream. So today we're going to be looking at some altcoins because it seems as though the altcoin market is starting to pick back up. If you've not watched my video, go check out my video on first Algorand and Koti, which have both uh, really shown great strength uh, to bounce off key levels and create some really exciting patterns, but also check out my other video on Solana and Ethereum because the layer one space is starting to heat up and show some movement. We've got Bitcoin cooling off a little bit today, which we'll cover in this live stream as well. We'll also look at Ethereum, which is creating a very positive pattern, uh, and we'll see what's next for Bitcoin and therefore the wider crypto community. Join the room, comment below. Don't forget to hit a like on the video so more people can see this and YouTube can show more people this video. Uh, jump in the chat. Let me know which altcoins you want to look at uh, and I'll look at those for you guys as well. So first of all, let's look at Bitcoin and we can see Bitcoin has had a little bit of a cooling off over the last 12 to 16 hours or so. So you can see if I share my screen, let's take a look. There we go. So you should be able to see my screen now. So we can see Bitcoin has cooled off somewhat. You can see uh, three or four hourly, three or four, four hourly candles come to the downside, which means we're just getting a nice retest of the all time highs. And that's exactly what we want, guys. We don't want to just tear straight above. We know what our price targets are. Our first price target is 75 on the cup and handle breakout. And then the larger breakout of the wedge, which I'll show you on the daily chart which is this big purple wedge is going to give us, uh, let's show you there, right there. You can see that price target at 85. Okay. So that's your broader target on your cup and handle pattern. Now, uh, sorry, on your wedge. So the purple target is from the wedge. Okay. Which is this massive wedge continuation pattern moving to the upside. So if we switch back to the hourly, we can see this is a, a really healthy, uh, bounce point, right? So we broke straight through all time highs. We went up high, we came back down, retested, come back again, retested, and that's really healthy. These retests are really important. What we're seeing here and what we're seeing here, we want to see this happen, okay? Because we want this to be a really important level for us to back test going forward. When Bitcoin continues to run in the future and continues to run to 75, 85, we want to know that the level, the all time high, previous all time high at 64,800 is going to be maintained as a key level of support. That's really important, okay? We need to know that we can count on that to not fall below it. Okay, so that's really important for us here. Uh, nice breakout from the cup and handle pattern. You can see we're well on our way to our 75k price target. If you traded this from the indications I gave you guys, uh, you would have been up uh, already at the at the highs here. You would have been up 26% on your Bitcoin, which is uh, no mean feat whatsoever. Guys, as always, when you jump in, feel free to uh, hit the like on the button, share with anybody else you think needs to see this content. Uh, drop me a comment of which type of coin you want to see. That will be fantastic. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum. So Ethereum had this massive dump, which we're going to look at very shortly. We'll take a look at this uh, dump. Let's just put this. Let's just share this uh, live stream on Twitter. You guys can watch me do that. Let's tweet so everybody knows we're live. That's good. So that's posted out. And let's now carry on looking at ETH. So what happened with ETH is on the daily chart, we created this really important inverse head and shoulders pattern. OK, so this inverse head and shoulders pattern got a nice breakout. We broke out from the inverse head and shoulders pattern and then we got a little bit of rejection at that peak there, which we were expecting at the 3968 mark. Now we came back down and we got a perfect retest and we're heading back up. We've got a nice head back up. That's, this is perfect daily pattern chart, guys. And if I zoom into the hourly, you will see exactly where we got that breakout, which again, we said we entered this wedge, which acted as a continuation pattern. We had this nice move up, rejected, continuation pattern, built the momentum, and we break straight back up to the upside. So next for Ethereum is to reach our price target uh, of, so we've already met our first price target from this wedge. That was easily met. We, bit, we went past the top of the wedge and some and our next target from this broader 
cup and handle pattern is to reach the 4,500 level on Ethereum. Okay, really important level at 4,500 on Ethereum. Hey guys, when you're joining the chat, feel free to jump into the comment section. Ask me to look at your favorite altcoins and I'll be glad to look at them for you. Now, if anybody knows what happened in this dump right here, let me know because this is a that was a big wick down. What was that? A lot of leverage positions would have got hit. Uh, would have got a nice beating there on those leverage positions. If that's why I don't condone leverage, guys. Look at this. A whale can just dump the Ethereum right here at the price target. They know this is all time highs. They would have waited for you. They dump and they trigger all your leverage positions, guys. All your leverage positions triggered, and then they go buy the dip, and now they're buying their Ethereum at 3,800 versus 4,300. That's massive when you're buying the amount that the whales are buying right here. Look at that week down, straight below to the bottom of this wedge, okay? So please, 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 guys, be careful with leverage positions. Really important. So that's Ethereum, really bullish on Ethereum. Let me show you my longer term view on Ethereum. I'm going to switch out to the weekly. And what I've done here is I've drawn a Fibonacci, put a Fibonacci range on here, swing low to swing high. And what you can see is my price target is we've, we've broken out of our golden ratio here, which is great. We're going towards all time highs, which we just looked at. And we're going to head to this 4,500 mark here. The next level of resistance will be our 5,100 uh, 50, mark. But long term, I have a 6,000 price target on Ethereum just based on this Fibonacci level. Now, obviously, we're not going to go straight up there. We can get to 4,500. I can expect a little calling off head back up, test the level. This is the kind of patterns we're expecting, right? And that's why it's really important that no different to how I said Bitcoin needs to hold the floor, Ethereum needs to hold the floor as well. That's really important. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Please head over to the chat. Don't be shy. Uh, let me know what coins you want to look at. Let's take a look at some coins together. Let me share the link on Discord as well. So Discord knows we're live. Let's do that. Uh, Let's share the link to Discord. Guys, if you're not joined onto the Discord, head over to our Discord. It's normally the pinned comment in on the chat. Let me go put it in here as well. Uh, I'll put it in the chat here so you know where our Discord is. Feel free to come over there and you'll get notifications on when I'm buying cryptos, when I'm buying stocks, and we can have a chat there with the community as well. Uh, let me post on Discord. All right, notify Discord that we're live, which is great. Let's get everyone in the room. So great stuff, guys. We've got some of you joining now. Please feel free to jump into the comments. Let me know what you want to look at. I'm just going through my Ethereum price target, which as you can see is sitting at 6,000. My first target is at 4,500, which I showed you on the other chart. But longer term, I do want to be seeing us closer to 6,000 on Ethereum. Let me show you the same thing for Bitcoin, because some of you will be surprised at where I think Bitcoin can head to. You guys have seen my cup and handle pattern. You've seen the wedge. Cup and Handle's given us a target of 75,000 on Bitcoin. The, the wedge, the bigger continuation pattern, is giving me a target of 85,000. Okay, what I'm seeing here from my Fibonacci levels is a beautiful, beautiful move here. We got a bit of resistance in the golden pocket, as you'd expect, came back down, built some strength at the 0.5 level, broke straight through the golden pocket. We're now heading to the 1.272 level, which is at 75K, which ties in perfectly with a Cup and Handle pattern. And then I want to go see us head to 87 which lies nicely with our broader wedge pattern. So everything here is indicating a nice push to the upside on Bitcoin, and that's going to grow the wider market over the next few months. And that's really important here. And by the way, I don't expect this to just go boom. I don't, And I don't want that neither. I want to see us go up. I want us to create the floor at the 64,000 mark, you know, build some tests, come back down, create a new high and head up as so. That's a more sustainable way to do it. And that's exactly what we've done here, ironically. OK, we just want to carry on this pattern and Bitcoin will slowly over time continue to appreciate. Ayush, thanks for joining the chat, buddy. Should we be expecting some altcoin pullback in the coming days before they actually head higher? Good question, Ayush. What do we do? Let's take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. So 
you've been, you know if you've been watching my videos that I've been talking about this W pattern on the Bitcoin dominance for a long time. And the reason I am is I feel like Bitcoin has just gotten started. OK, you've seen the patterns I've shown you just to get to the all time highs was one effort to now go and pump to 75 and 85 is going to be a whole new different world and a whole new level of FOMO, right? Because everybody's FOMOing now when we're just kind of hitting levels which we've seen before, right? It's nothing that the market hasn't seen. But if this handle, if this cup and hat, if this uh, W pattern, sorry, breaks out, you can get an explosive move to the upside in dominance past 59. And that could lead to a massive rally in Bitcoin and all coins going sideways, probably, if not slightly down. Right. So that's really important on uh, the Bitcoin dominance. We need to keep an eye on this because I think Bitcoin can still move. And so I'm not sure if this rally we're seeing today with Solana up, Algorand up, Koti up, Ethereum up can sustain. The ones I think can are things like Ethereum. I feel like Ethereum can run right now at the same time as Bitcoin because the chart is so good and Ethereum has started to become decoupled from Bitcoin. It's that mature of a project. But still, for the rest of the projects, even Solana, I feel like they're all going to respect Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's running, Bitcoin will do its thing. And when that starts to cool off, then we'll get a sustained altcoin season. And let's just take a look at the fear and greed index as well because we're sitting at 84 guys really greedy level extreme greed level a lot of FOMO going in and look at this if you look at the yearly chart we've not had this level of FOMO 84 takes you back to March right and March was just before we then had our peak in Bitcoin uh, and then we ran back down so if I take you back to the charts if we remind ourselves of what happened in March on the weekly charts uh, let's show you March was here okay so this was March here. We just finished off, got to 64 after that, and then we came down. So we got to be careful of FOMO. We got to be careful of overextending on Bitcoin. But all the chart patterns this time seem to suggest we can head much higher on Bitcoin. And we're not even started in terms of Bitcoin season. So if I show you this as well, this gives you a good idea of the Bitcoin season. Guys, thank you for joining. Thanks, everyone, for joining here. Feel free to enter in your comments, the chats. I'm not going to miss any of them. We'll go through all of those. Put your favorite coin and we'll look at those together. Just to finish on this altcoin Bitcoin question, because we've been getting it a lot, you can see we're not in full-fledged Bitcoin season yet. A long way to go. And if I put the chart at two years, you'll see, you know, Bitcoin's been in really hot territories previous times. I mean, this is just in uh, towards the end of 2020, early 2021. This was earlier in the year. August. So we've got a long way to go on Bitcoin. Yes, it's been a really strong month for Bitcoin in October, but the year is still an altcoin year. We're not in Bitcoin season. So anybody underestimating what Bitcoin can do when it stretches his legs, uh, that they're, they're mistaken. So to answer your question, Ayush, and hopefully I have answered your question, I would not be rotating my money out of Bitcoin into alts and vice versa. I won't be rotating my alts into Bitcoin. I want to build those positions as big as possible because this is very difficult to time and you're very likely to miss out. I know a lot of people that rotated all their alts into Bitcoin and then they've just missed out on 20% on Solana over the last 24 hours, right? They've missed out on the pumps on Cardano, on Ethereum that are going to happen now as you break out of the head and shoulders pattern. And then vice versa, I know a lot of people that sold their uh, sold Bitcoin to come into alts and they missed out on the Bitcoin pump as well. So please don't try to time that. That's very, very difficult to do. Katrina Bolden, what are your thoughts on Trias? Never heard of it, Katrina. Uh, what do they do? Tell me a little bit more about Trias and maybe we can take a look at it. Adrenovich, hey, my friend, I was thinking about Atom. In general, I'm bullish on it, but what about the utility of Atom since when you got to go the other chains you're using those and not the atom adrenovich good question i've made a video on atom i'll link that here uh go check out let's see if i can let's see if i can find it uh just search my channel for atom cosmos and you'll see that okay guys check out that price video uh you'll see it's on my channel i do a price target for atom i'm bullish i like atom uh, it's definitely one I'm looking at uh, and building a small position in, but definitely in terms of interoperability, it's a good platform and uh, that's going to be needed. I mean, think about it like this way, right? Imagine if you could only use uh, Visa or MasterCard in a certain shop. That's what happens when you don't have interoperability. So interoperability is going to be a big thing going forward uh, and definitely Cosmos is one of those in that space. God called 50. When it, where can you see Koti topping out for this bull run or end of this season, old season? People say they think it can pull a 10x, but I'm starting to doubt that. What do you think? Okay, let's take a look at Koti. So let's put this into perspective, guys. Koti, let's, let's do this together. I'll show you how I do this. So 
Type in Koti in Coin Market Cap. Let's take a look. And so you can see Koti is half a billion market cap. Okay. Now let's head back over to our list and we can see that the likes of Solana, the likes, Solana is sitting at 56 billion market cap, XRP, 52 billion market cap, Polkadot, 43 billion. So what we're saying is if Koti is to do a 10x, that would bring it to 5 billion market cap. So if we go look at what projects we've got at 5 billion, I mean, you're talking, you know, you're talking easily possible. I mean, you've got VeChain at 8 billion. You've got FTX token, which are utility tokens. You've got Cosmos at 8 billion. So there's so many projects at 5 billion that I think a 10x on Koti is absolutely possible. And don't forget, if Cardano, I believe Cardano can do a 5x, right? I believe Cardano can do easily do a 5x, which would take it to 350 billion market cap, which is still quite considerably off Ethereum's current market cap, which I think can also grow. So think about this. If I think ETH Bitcoin can move, I think Ethereum's got room to go. I think Ethereum can even get to a 1 trillion market cap. And I think Cardano can easily do a 5x from here, if not a 10x from here. Let's call it a 5x to 350 billion. I think if Cardano moves a 5x, there's no reason Koti can't move a 10x because it's much smaller project and it's heavily correlated to the success of Cardano. So when I ride on Koti, it's because I respect the bigger project, the parent project, that is Cardano. Hope that helps answer your question there. Uh, perhaps you might be able to have a look at VET. Yep, let's take a look at VET, Steve. Let me can do that. I've like, I like VET. VET is good. And VET's coming to a point where it's ready to break out. It's been getting there for a while. Let's add it to our list here. Uh, let's pull up the chart. Here we go. So VET is looking beautiful right now. We're really getting this nice triangle. And we're seeing this triangle pattern in a lot of altcoins now, guys. So very, very crudely, you can take your trend there. And you can start whacking your triangle on. Oops. And you can see that we're getting a really nice pattern here. Uh, let's do this here. You can see we're getting a really nice triangle and it looks like we're getting a breakout from this as well. That's really crudely done whilst we're live, guys. But you can see we're getting a breakout here now. So I'm really bullish on this daily chart on VET, uh, Steve. And I definitely think we could break out. And if we break out, my price target on, on this would be very again very crudely guys just doing this quickly for you guys i can easily see vet getting to all-time highs at 33 34 dollars just on this wedge right we're gonna have a bit of resistance as we break out firstly we'll get some here at the 15 mark we'll also see a little bit of resistance at 24 and more importantly our price target first at the top of the wedge uh, that'll be our first price target at 28 and then heading up to 33 on vet uh, let's take a look at the ema ribbon as well for vet and you can see this is similar for a lot of all coins we've just flipped bullish and now we want to see a nice bounce, right? What we want to see is, is a good bounce here on VET. We've got we've got to close outside of the this triangle and we've got to head higher. We've got to have a good few consistent days. We want to see volume come in. We've got some room on the RSI. So it's a nice setup. We're seeing a lot of coins set up like this as well. I mean, let's take a look at Cardano. Uh, Cardano is in a similar situation as well, breaking out of a nice triangle as well. So you can see the same violet triangle uh, in the purplish color. And we just try to trying to break out, not quite complete yet, because you can see the closes inside of the triangle here on Cardano. So if I show you that, you can still see we're wicking up and down in between this, and we're not, therefore not getting the full breakout. Uh, uh, so where do you see the price topping out this cycle for Coty then? Been a long-term investor since last year, that's why I'm asking. I mean, look, if I had, a, if I had an Oracle, then, you know, that then I'd be able to tell you the exact price. But for me, uh, Koti, first of all, before worrying about all-time highs and where it tops off, we need to hit this pattern here, right? We need to hit the $81 uh, cup and, uh, pattern from this cup and handle pattern, and then we can look at what's next, right? And for me, I want to see at least uh, a $2 Koti first before then projecting and looking at Fibonacci extensions to longer timeframes. Uh, so I think it's important we take this step by step and just remember, I mean, if you've been holding this for a long time, you shouldn't be bothered at all because you, you would have been buying here at eight cents, right? So it's all about being patient. Right now it's all coin season, uh, sorry, Bitcoin's moment. So it's going to feel like these lot of things can't move. But for those who have been around 
around in all coin season you know when these things get moving you can they really get moving each day can just be green 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 and in a couple of days these things have gone and look at this look at look at how it ran right you, you just you don't need to go that far into history it just from this period here i mean if you just if you just held here for 46 days that's 7x right so this is not something we're making up. It's just you need to be in the coin for this period to lock in those gains. But the problem is people buy. Oh, it's not moving. They sell. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, look, it's moved. Let's quickly buy. And they buy up here. And they only capture like 50% of the move because they were so greedy. So buy into your high conviction plays and sit and wait for them to move. Really important. Hope that was your question. Uh, Adrenovic, I really don't get the hype about Cardano. You can't do anything there. All promises. Phantom is actually building so you can use it now. Adrenovic, look, I've heard that a lot from a lot of different people. Um, I agree with you. I'm bullish on both those projects, um, Cardano and Phantom. I agree with what you're saying around Phantom. A lot of total value locked, a lot of usage. Uh, and definitely, you know, Phantom is a great project. I'm not disputing that at all. I think that's fundamentally undervalued, which is why we cover it so much on this channel. In terms of Cardano, that's been a very long hold of mine, and it's going to be a long, long hold for mine. I don't see any rush in Cardano. I'm not chasing any pumps in Cardano. I'm just holding it. This is one of those projects where in 20 years' time, I'm going to look back and laugh at the times when I was buying Cardano in these horizontal levels. For me, this is like my opportunity to buy Ethereum in the super early days or buying Amazon or buying Microsoft or buying Apple. When I listen to Charles Hodgkinson, that is the founder that I'd want to work for if I was working in cryptocurrency, right? He's the one I'd want building that project because you can see where his head's at. He's a pure academic. And maybe it's more relatable to, to me because I studied maths and he studied maths and therefore our logical brains are aligned in terms of I can see what he's trying to do. Um, but the important thing is that he's building from fundamental basis, right? He's not trying to pump his coin. That's the difference. He could have launched NFTs right away. He could have launched smart contracts right away, but he's doing it properly. And Cardano have a, an amazing schedule coming on with Shelly uh, and the other, uh, you know, Gogan coming and Shelly coming. That's going to be massive for this. I mean, Alonzo Hard Fork was big. And you can just see Cardano, Cardano goes sideways and then it will move. And I'm expecting a little move now, taking us to all time highs. And uh, before you know it, I mean, look, we were at $3 on Cardano already. I mean, it was only a little while ago you were sub. Uh, you were you, you were pennies, right? You were cents uh, for Cardano. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. We're getting quite a few comments in here now. Let me try my best to keep up. Feel free to for a, for a super chat if you want to skip the queue on these, but I'm just work, trying to work through these in order. Uh, Stevie, very bullish on Phantom. Absolutely. Guys, comment below if you want me to spend some time looking at Phantom. I can show you some interesting fundamentals on Phantom. Uh, Ronak. Amazing channel with in-depth insight on crypto projects and technical analysis. What's your thoughts on Phantom and how it compares with projects like Algorand? Hey, Ronak, if you've been watching this channel, you know we're a big fan of Phantom here on this channel. Algorand, another amazing project as well. And for me, this is not just a, you know, I'm, I like my TA, right? But this is all about usage as well. Head over to DeFi Llama. Let's look at the chains. I mean, Phantom, the amount of total value locked on the Phantom network is phenomenal. Uh, so... So welcome, Ayush. Welcome, Danish. Coming on, Shab. We've got you as well. Realistic analysis. Appreciate that. This is key, right? I want to bring realistic analysis to you guys. I'm not here to pump any coins or sell you a dream that you're going to 100x your money because that's not how you build a community. I want to build a long-term community of pragmatic investing. Yes, we won't attract those people that want massive a million X returns, but you can make life-changing wealth through being sustainable and investing smartly, not just in cryptos, but in stocks and other assets as well. Uh, and that's what we want to do here. Guys, my throat is gone. You can tell I'm inexperienced at um, this streaming game. So uh, look at this. So you got Ethereum sat here. I, I make this point a lot. We got Ethereum sat here, 163 billion, right? Fine. They're the leaders. I'm not disputing that. I'm bullish on Ethereum. I think they're going to be the one, right? They're going to continue to be strong. But this market is not about one size fits all. Anybody who tries to convince you that this is all about Ethereum and nothing else or all about Bitcoin, and nothing else. Don't listen to that person, right? They're too close minded. It's like the person who said IBM are going to take over computers and it's only going to be IBM. How did that work out? Right? It didn't, did it? Or Apple's going to be the only one. How did that work out? Samsung still have a massive share, right? Microsoft's going to be the only one. No. So let's have let's be pragmatic. Let's have an open mind. 163 billion Ethereum. Great. They're the market leaders. Then you look at Binance at 20 billion, Solana at 12 billion. Terra already at 10 billion knocking on the door. And look what's growing quicker. 
10% over the last seven days, Terra has grown versus uh, seven days on Solana. And I'm bullish all these projects, guys, to put just, just to make it, just to put it into perspective. I'm bullish Phantom, I'm bullish Algorand, I'm bullish Solana, I'm bullish Ethereum. Until one of these projects can give me a reason to suggest that they're messing up, I'm bullish on them because they're all growing. The whole space is growing, right? It, the whole ecosystem is great, gaining more attention and funds, which I can show you on the charts. Now, look at Phantom. Phantom is at 4.38 billion. So let's click into Phantom. And you can see, look at each of these projects here, okay? 2.69 billion in just any swap. You've got Geist Finance, you've got Spooky Swap. Look at the growth here. We're having a small correction as people start to move some different projects and also DeFi Llama play around with how they look at the stats. So always ignore some big movements here. But the concept is the same. More and more people are using these networks. This total value locked doesn't go up because somebody thinks there's a cup and handle pattern on the chart. This goes up because people are using the ecosystem. iPhone sales go up because people are buying iPhones, right? Then the stock price moves. So these are the fundamental on-chain metrics we need to look at. If you were around in the early days of Ethereum, when Uniswap was being built, when Aave was being built, when Compound was being built, that's exactly what these projects are, okay? Look at that, 60% growth in Scream Finance on just seven days. These projects are massive and you should be looking into these projects. And if you want me to do a deeper dive, comment below on, and uh, we, can, we can do this. We can set up a deeper dive into some of these core projects uh, on Phantom. So really bullish on Phantom. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much and ho hopefully I answered your question, Ronak. Pedro Lopez, what chart are you using? I'm using TradingView, buddy. Link will be in the description. Guys, whilst you're here, don't forget to hit the like button. We've got quite a few guys here now. Let's hit the like button. Let's get more people coming to the stream. Uh, let's get more people jumping onto these streams and seeing some of the analysis we do. Let's build this community. Thank you, Steve. Yep, it is Trading View. Shabidri's Realistic Analy Analysis. Thank you. Hey, Danish. Uh, uh, Jonathan says he now wants to hold some ADA if he had any extra pennies. Yeah, you can't go wrong, but just don't don't pump it, right? It's been on it's been sideways for a while now. And I've been telling everybody these are the times to accumulate. I've even put rectangles around them, guys. Come on, can't make it easier for you. I've put these rectangles and then you've just got to hold. Because when card this is the thing, people don't believe in cardano were the ones that weren't in these movements here. You've got to be in these movements. Whether it's stocks or crypto, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. With 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 stocks, it's the same thing. You'll see these analysis that the richest, most wealthiest people are those that bought SMP or bought their favorite stocks and held for a long time. Because if you miss the top, I can't remember what the stat was, if you miss the top 20 days in the SP over the last 10 years, your returns will be massively lower. Right? So it's really important that you have time in the market. You have time holding your favorite, favorite currencies. Frank, how long will it take Link to hit a hundred dollars? Uh Link. Frank, were you the one asking me on Twitter? Uh, let's take a look at link. So for me, I, look, link first price target. You guys know cup and handle pattern. I want that to finish forming. We're getting a good boost now, which is showing we could be creating this. If I adjust this slightly uh, to there, we could be following this cup and handle pattern. If we do, we're going to break out to 52. Now for me, link can move at a multiple of BTC. This is a fundamental project to the crypto system. For those who don't know what Chainlink does, Chainlink is a data oracle. So if anybody is building, uh, if anybody is building a smart contract and let's say I want to build a smart contract and I say, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give Danish over there in the chat. I'm going to give him one Bitcoin. If the price of, uh, Matic goes to $4, right? Let's say I did that. Then I need a price feed into my smart contract to tell me what the price of Matic is at any given time. To do that, you have to use Chainlink. Chainlink brings data to smart contracts. Okay, really, really important. I mean, to give you another example, let's say I want to, I have to do 10 press ups if temperature hits 30 degrees and I put that into a smart contract. The temperature reading will come from Chainlink. So as Bitcoin grows, as DeFi grows, as the eco grows around, ecosystem grows around different blockchains, they're going to want to part, they're going to want to partner with Chainlink because they're the de facto gold standard in terms of data oracle. So if Bitcoin does a double now, to 120, 150, I think Chainlink can at least 5x and that will take you past $100, okay? So I hope that answers your question, Frank. 
kind of guys everybody jumping on we've got a good number of concurrent viewers but you've all not liked the video guys this is a small channel please 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 help me out you guys know there's some massive channels in crypto right now with thousands of likes thousands of comments how are we going to get noticed when youtube's not going to show this video so please go ahead each and every single one of you that hits like button is going to make a difference guys it's not a big channel where you know i can afford to ignore it please go hit the like button thank you guys i can see you all hitting the like button really appreciate it kind of frosty any tips for avoiding FOMO seems hard to make a decision right now. Just join the gang. So I'm looking forward to your response. Hey, kind of welcome to the crypto community. And I think it's great to always welcome new people into this wonderful community that is crypto. But you've asked the absolute correct question. And that is, how do you avoid FOMO? And the way you avoid FOMO is psychology, psychology, right? It's all about psychology. You need to train yourself and this is, this is a quote from Warren Buffett, by the way. Be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. So one thing I'd recommend you to do is go into Google and type in crypto fear and greed index. This will give you an index score based on how fearful or greedy the market is. When the market's greedy, be cautious. Don't be so hungry to buy. When the market's nice and fearful, that's when we want to buy. You'll see it, guys. If you watch my videos, join me on the journey. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to show you when the market's red. I'm not just going to talk. You'll see me buying and I'll let you guys know. I'll, make, I'll put alerts out to say, look, I'm buying right now when it's pumping. I'm not buying massive amounts. If I see coins which are going sideways, I'm buying. So you want to be a contrarian. You don't want to chase pumps. And that's the way to avoid FOMO and uh, make sure you're in the market for a while. Observe it. Watch the patterns. Things that go up always come down, right? I'm waiting for Bitcoin. I, I spoke about this. Look at Bitcoin right here. I said this yesterday when everybody was on, in peak euphoria. I said, let's get a retest to the neckline, right? Back to the all time high. Let's come back and touch it. And we just did. And we've fallen below it. No problem. On Bitcoin, to, let's put this into perspective, guys. On Bitcoin, I'm not even bothered, even technically, if you came down to 54. I'm not bothered, right? Because that's the long term trend as we're going up. So we shouldn't be worried. Guys, nice. We got a, a lot more people that made a really big difference when you guys hit the like button. I saw that about five, six more of you hit the like button and more concurrent viewers came in. So get again, guys. We got more of you watching than have hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Really makes a difference if you can take a second to hit that like button. Otherwise, YouTube is not going to show this to anybody. They're just going to show those other same crypto channels, the same three or four which they show to everybody every time. And we want to get a different perspective, right? We want to share the community. We want to um, we want to teach people how to navigate these times. We're getting a lot of new people into crypto who have only been in for a few months, a few days, a few weeks. And let's educate them. Let's show them that you know we don't just come here and chase Bitcoin. That's not what we do. There's a there's a strategy to this. There's a way of building long term wealth around this. Hit the like button and let's bring more people into this community. Great, kind of fruity, fantastic answer. Good, glad I answered your question. Let me know if you have any follow ons. Uh, do, do, do. Dana says call. Frank says thanks. Apophis, oh man, made it on time. Oh man, you did. Apophis, welcome, welcome. If you have any questions, let me know. If you were going to pick one altcoin for the most ROI during all season, what would you pick? Frank, what? You give me hard questions out here, man. Frank does not give me easy questions at all. Look, the, the reality is there's not one coin that's going to give you a massive ROI. And that's why you have to build a portfolio. If you guys haven't watched my video on building your altcoin portfolio, please type in Ijaza One altcoin portfolio or something like that. You'll see it. It's this weird picture of me doing this with a bunch of different altcoins. Go check out that video. If you watch one video of mine today, watch that one because that's going to help you understand how to shape your portfolio. And the reason that that's going to answer your question there, Frank, is it's not just one coin. I want to set up a portfolio of things like Bitcoin, which are low risk, decent return. Things like Ethereum, a bit more risk, a bit more return. Things like Cardano, a bit more risk, slightly more return, right? Think of it like a diagram like that. Then Phantom, much more risky, much more return. Coty, even more risky, even more return. So it's all about balancing the risk versus return. And you don't want one, right? You want to have all of those in your portfolio. So in days like today, when Bitcoin's calling off, my more riskier plays like Solana, Coty, Phantom are keeping my portfolio green. And then yesterday when Bitcoin was doing, the day before when Bitcoin was doing amazing and all coins were doing bad, Bitcoin was keeping my portfolio green. So I'm win-win, I'm right? That's the way to play this game. Hope that answered your question, Frank. Giving me tricky question. No one likes you. <laughs> I 
I'm joking. So, guys, got more con concurrent viewers. Guys, please, please, please hit the like button. I want all of you to like this video because we've not got loads of people on here. It makes a big, big difference. Please do hit the like button. Uh, I'm not charging for this stuff. It's just a free like button. Please hit it. Right. Fantastic answer. Steve Tierney, last request from me. Could you have a look at Sandbox for a good entry point? Yes, we'll look at Sandbox. Uh, I like Sandbox, although I don't think it's going to move anytime soon, fundamentally, but we'll look at the technicals in a second. Uh, Trianth, will Cody reach $1 by end of this year? I think Cody can easily hit $1. I mean, we've covered that in this channel here. Um, for me, Cody is on the verge. Uh, where's Cody gone? Let's get back to that chart. First of all, we need to hit Cody's target of 58. And if you can see from the cup and handle pattern, that's going to take us to 80 cents. So from 80 cents, if all coin season starting to pump, there's no reason we can't get to a dollar. Um, so first, I want to get to 80 cents first. So that's the one I put technical target on. A dollar can come thereafter. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question. Steve, you can ask as many questions as you want, mate. No worries at all. Uh, true, please let me know. Will it reach one dollar? On Koti, I'm very bullish. Dane is saying his price target on Koti is $2. Great. Okay, let's get up Sandbox. Let's do that. Sand, US dollar. We'll use the Binance chart. That would do. Let's take a look at Sandbox. Nice, fresh chart. See, guys, it's the same thing. We can see this pattern, and we're actually getting a breakout. So, so uh, if your question is you want to trade this, you can even, oh, I'm doing this very crudely by the way, I should really be zooming in and doing this properly, uh, but you know what I'm like. Let's move us across. You can see a lot of the altcoins are forming this exact same kind of pattern. Uh, you're getting a triangle like this, and you can see we're trying to get a breakout now from this triangle. We could potentially get a breakout here, guys. So if we see a breakout, similar to Cardano, similar to some of the other projects we've been looking at, we could be seeing upside potential of... Let's put this at the breakout. We could be seeing a target of a dollar thirty on Sandbox. Uh, who asked for Sandbox again? D -d 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 Steve, it was you, mate. Yeah, so it could be seeing a dollar thirty on Sandbox. If you wanted to swing trade it, you could wait for this breakout. In terms of long term, if you're holding, if you're holding long term, you can't really go wrong now because we've been channeling sideways. Uh, yes, you may get a dip to our 200 EMA on this on this teal color line, in which case definitely nibble up if you have high conviction in the play. But you couldn't go wrong nibbling now. I mean, start nibbling. Uh, that's what I would do. It's not financial advice. But if this is a project you're interested in from a technical point of view, you can't go wrong now. It's been sitting at its EMA ribbon for a long time. It's neither bearish nor bullish right now. But if we do get a breakout to the upside, we could be hitting $1.30 on Sandbox. Uh, hope that helps. Ayush, I will be coming on to Matic. Give me a second. Shab wants to look at Stratos. Shab, tell me a little bit more about Stratos before I jump onto that. I'll do Matic for now. Uh, do, 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 do. I just don't want to be going into too many low caps. We want to keep it on some solid projects. So I use an update on Matic. Let's do update on Matic. So you can remember, guys, on the daily chart on Matic, and you can see all my drawings from back in the day, uh, I wanted to buy in this zone, which now looks great, right, where we are now. But we're in this cup and handle pattern. And the cup and handle pattern was forming since the 15th of June. And then what you can see is the cup and handle pattern is coming towards the neckline right now. So Matic is very similar to Chainlink in that I've predicted it's going to form a cup and handle pattern before it actually has. Now, there's a risk it doesn't form that but it's looking like it, right? This massive candle here really put us on track to, uh, you can see it's just following the line perfectly. Now, if we get a breakout of $1.72 on the neckline, we could be hitting all-time highs, okay? We'll have some resistance on the way, which is about, we'll get a little bit of resistance at $2.23 and a little bit up here on two forty. but then we could be heading to all-time highs and the technical price target on Matic will be $2.80, okay? So Matic is looking really good. Let's take a look at the hourly to see what we're, how we're getting on. So you can see we're in this mic megaphone pattern, uh, which is a continuation pattern, and we're pretty much trying to break to the upside. Uh, you can see here, not really... I mean, you could argue even that's a bit of a channel here. So you could argue this is a, a flag and pole pattern. 
So you could say we're running up here, continuation pattern, and then carry on to the upside. So this is what you'd want to look out, and that's what would get you this this red shade, by the way, is the handle from the cup and handle, right? So that's what would break us out. So we could be just hours away from a breakout of the cup and handle pattern being validated on Matic. Uh, so good pick uh, I used to be looking at. Definitely an interesting one, and Matic could get moving, and it for sure is a decent size of my portfolio. Hey guys, everybody watching, please do hit the like button if you haven't already. That would mean a lot to me. A lot of you have been jumping in uh, and out of this stream. If you have any questions, as always, please don't forget to put them in the chat. Uh, if you want to join the Discord group, please do join the Discord group as well, where you can ask questions anytime. It doesn't have to be just on a live stream. I'm going to paste that here again. Oh, that should be going to you guys now in the chat. Yeah, kind of frosty. That that candle on Ethereum was a bit crazy. I've not. I was. I've been making videos at the time, so I didn't exactly see what happened on this candle. But what this tends to be, which is what I'll show you right now, is the following. So this is very important to know for newbies trading. So the price is going up, and we're heading towards a really important all-time high here, three three the three four three eight seven mark, and look perfectly where this gets rejected right before the line and the reason that happens is you get what is called sell walls so when you're getting to key psychological resistance levels you get the bears sitting there with their sell orders waiting for all you excited bulls to be buying in right in your leverage positions and they dump the market with massive volume okay think of an army waiting there waiting for you to charge in naively and they're hiding there boom they trigger all your stop losses, and this is what can happen. This is called a massive uh, leverage liquidation, okay? Because people are trading on leverage, which means they're putting 10x, 20x, 30x times the leverage, and therefore you get massive liquidations where they have to sell your whole position. And that's what you get here. And it and it, the annoying thing for us as, as long-term bulls, it prevents our progress, right? Because we were making a good progress up to there. And now look what's happened. Now we have to, you know, we we're going up. Now we have to come back down, probably build some support back at 33968 three, and then try to head higher. We could even come back to test uh, the apex of the wedge here, right? Back down at 3800. But hopefully we get a, a turning point at 3968 or before on Ethereum. Don't forget our price target on Ethereum is still 4500 uh, from the inverse head and shoulders pattern. Hope that answered your question. Frank asking me about GME. You know, you, you know, I love a bit of GME, GME but uh, we're not going to look. We're sticking to crypto for today, Frank. If you hit me up in Discord, we can look at GME together. Uh, Steve goes really love the sandbox project. Yeah, I mean the metaverse is going to be massive, guys. Think about it. Like it's just it's just common for me. It's just common sense. Maybe other people are not seeing it that way, but everyone's going to be using the metaverse. Uh, everybody's going to be buying pieces of land. I mean. Uh, it's just, I can just see it everywhere. Even digital products, right? Gucci, Versace, these brands are going to be selling digital t-shirts and your avatar is going to want to look fresh and fly and you lot are going to buy these fancy t-shirts for your avatar at £1,000 a pop. Uh, what do you think about Atom and the ecosystem? Shab, we spoke about Atom. Feel free to head back. I'll probably do a fundamental video on Atom at some point. Please do remind me in Discord if I forget over the next kind of week or so. Uh, let's make a video on Atom and the fundamentals, but uh, I'm bullish. I'm bullish on Atom. It's a great project. Nathan, appreciate you bringing the information. Thank you very much, Nathan. Apophis, have you ever looked into Telos? Can't figure out why there isn't more hype about it. No, nope, haven't looked at Telos. Guys, if there are any coins you want me to look at, which I've not been familiar with or I don't know about, put your thesis in Discord, right? Go to Discord, go into the crypto chat, and tell me why I should be looking at Telos. And if you can get me intrigued, we can look at it together. And maybe we can get everybody looking at it together as well. Guys, thank you so much for joining this live. Please, 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 can I persuade you guys to please hit that like button. As I've mentioned many times, we're a tiny channel right now. We just started building out this community. And uh, each and every single like of yours is greatly appreciated. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Please head down and hit that like button. Uh, these are, uh, Steve, these are massive scam weeks on loads of exchanges happening. There are some BTC at Kraken, BTC on Binance, week down to $8,000. Thank you for that, Steve. Steve, if, can you post the screenshots or evidence of that in Discord? I would, uh, tag me in. I'd want to look at that. Uh, if you got the charts for those, that'd be really useful, Steve. 
Any other question, guys? Comment, comment in your question. God called 50. Do you think this cycle top will be a rotating cycle? Market cap top 3 to 4 trillion at the top when money is being rotated into other coins or do you think total market cap will reach like 10 trillion? Uh I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to get massive rotations out. I think the ecosystems is are slowly going to build out over time. So 10 trillion to put that into perspective, gold on its own is 12 trillion. So if we want the whole crypto ecosystem to be 10 trillion, that's not far fetched, right? Considering that so many different projects. I mean, look at this. So for you to say 10 trillion, that's just the that's just the market cap of the four biggest publicly listed companies, right? So we can get there. It's just going to take time. These didn't happen to these companies overnight. These are decades and decades and decades of work. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be the same for crypto. At one point, you will have Ethereum at this level. You'll have your Solanas there. And we will have a $10 trillion market cap across crypto. Uh, I just can't tell you when that is. I just know it will be a, the case. Hope that answers your question. Uh, God called 50. Any other questions, guys? Feel free to comment your questions. And then we can take a look. Let's take a look at... Let's look at the phantom chart together, guys. Let's do that. I'm going to be on for another 20 minutes or so, guys. So if you have any more questions, go and get your questions. Bring them over. And then I've got to run on a few other calls. So here's what's happening in Phantom, guys. So we have this massive... I'm going to post a video on Phantom just after this, but so you guys can have a sneak peek. You've got this massive floor, uh, ball flag, right? We're in it for longer than expected, and we broke out. This is really important, guys. This is perfect textbook stuff. Let's zoom in. I want you guys to understand this. When we came out of the continuation flag, what's our first level resistance? It's here, right? We broke straight. We had a tiny bit. We came back down, retested. Can we see that? Look at that. Perfect. See that? Went up, retested, came back down. Got some support at the top of the wedge, carried on higher. What's our next level of resistance, guys? It's here, right? What happened? Got rejected just below it. Came back down, got this bit of manipulation, which we covered in yesterday's video. Came back down, picked up support back at this level. Okay, now want to head higher. Broke through this support the second time round, And now we're going to hit the next resistance. Top of the next side. It's not rocket science, is it, guys? It works. But we get rejected, we come back down, we want to build back up, but what happens? Manipulation, right? Look at that massive wick. We get manipulated, we almost get shaken out, and we re rebuild back strength, and now we're in this channel. So that messed up our upwards potential, and now we're in another continuation pattern, and we've got to break out to the upside. We've got to get some support here right now. If we don't get support here, don't you best believe we're heading back down either to the EMA ribbon here, or even lower to this white line. So let's go in ahead and extend this white line. Just want to bring it further out. No, don't want to measure anything. Thank you very much, Trading View. Let's extend that out. We could be coming down getting support here, but we need to go ahead and break $2.45 on Phantom. Uh, and I think we can do so very soon. Thank you for joining, guys. Uh, Elon Musk is back in the chat uh, talking about Saitama, as he does. Elon, you got to get into our Discord and tell us why we need to be invested in that. Tell us why. Uh, Vonak, what's your thoughts on OMG Network and comparison with Matic? I don't know much about OMG Network. Uh, what do you think about Atom and the ecosystem? We spoke about that. Uh, Steve, thanks for posting that ch ch uh, in the Discord. We'll take a look at that and pull that up. Kind of frosty. Best place to learn more about technical analysis. Best ways to do it. Uh, I know a lot of people say there are books and uh, you can watch YouTube videos, but to be honest, I'd, I'd do it and I'd probably watch someone like myself, right? Whichever technical analysis you'd like to watch, go ahead and watch them. Ha have a look at how I'm drawing my charts, right? It's not pretty, but it works. Um, and you just learn it. You'll learn it over time, play with it, practice. You don't need to spend any money, just watch it, right? Watch the charts move, understand what's going on. And I think the difference between what I do, and I'm not the best technical analysis in the world, but I'll bring fundamentals to it. Any technical analyst who tells you, analyst who tells you that they don't need fundamentals, they, they're just pure short-term traders, right? Anybody who wants to build serious wealth over longer terms, you need to understand the fundamentals in line with the technicals. When they merge together, you're unstoppable. Rico, do you think Cardano will hit $5 by December? Probably not. 
maybe three or four. And the reason it's all going to depend on Bitcoin. It's all going to depend on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin has its run and then calls off, Cardano can run after it. If Bitcoin's still running into December, then um, then it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Danish, any views on Sheeb and Doge? Do you know what? I've actually made videos on Sheeb, and if you go check those videos out, but like, I don't mind the projects, right? The projects are fine, but I, the bit I'm worried about is these projects, these meme projects, get targeted at new people. Nathan, thank you for the support. We'll smash the like button. Everybody watching, please hit the like button. Uh, I know it sounds so silly and you hear it in every single video, but for a small video like this, like it's going to make a massive difference. So I'm going to try bring these live streams to you as often as I can. In return, if you could just smash that like button as hard as you can, don't break your mouse. Uh, I'm not responsible for that. Don't sue me. Um, that would be fantastic. So what? Yeah, Sheeb and Doge. I don't mind it. Guys, I don't mind a bit of Sheeb and Doge, but... Um, what I want is I want people to understand that that's a gateway drug into, you know, real crypto because Sheeb and Doge are fine to play around with with a tiny, tiny bit of your portfolio and anybody who started off with it, if it's bringing new people to the market, that's great. But I want them to come out of coins like this and start learning how to do what we're doing here on all these other major projects. And if we can find those people in our community, bring them here and educate them, then we're going to help the community grow, right? That's the create. That's the that's the truth. That's what we want to do. So let's not alienate them. Let's not belittle them for, oh, you're just a sheep trader or a doe trader or you're pumping Saitama. That's fine. If that's how you care about the market and you want to make a return on it, I can't, I can't hate you for that. If that's how you want to make your bread, that's fine, but it's not sustainable, right? And what I what I want to avoid is people getting burnt on those coins and then blaming the wider crypto community. And that's that's what we need to avoid. So let's be pragmatic. Let's introduce those people to our community, invite them to our Discord. Let's educate them. Let them watch the videos. And uh, once they finish with Sheeb and Doge, or they carry on with a small part of their portfolio, they put their serious net wealth into some solid projects. Hope that answered your question, Danish. Uh, Frank, another good question. Frank, leave me alone, mate. <laughs> Do you think Tether is a threat to crypto short or midterm? Okay, so I have strong views on this, guys. So I was I was trading at an investment bank during the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. So I remember this very well. I know I don't look that old. Oh, thank you. But, uh, you know, th this is a big problem. And this is one of the reasons I have issues with the standard structure of uh, Wall Street. So if you imagine when the subprime mortgage crisis happened, this is what happened. You were just rehypothecating the debt. People were packaging up these mortgages, which were going to default and reselling them. And that was the derivatives they were creating. Now, the issue with Tether is it's, you know, there's no audit or regulation to ensure that it's backed one for one as a stable coin with cash or cash equivalents. So Paxos dollars is, right? And it's proven to be 100% backed by cash or cash equivalents. But Tether, which is the biggest one by market cap, is not. And apparently a lot of it is still in junk bonds. And that could be a real big problem, guys. So I want to see regulation. You know, I'm not a massive, I don't want loads of regulation in the industry because it stifles innovation. I get that. But we need some amounts of regulation. It's like saying we don't want traffic lights on the road because it slows everyone down. But we need some, right? We need some traffic lights. We need some speeding tickets. And uh, I'm pro that. I just want more transparency from Gensler. I want it more clear because at the, mo at the moment, he kind of changes with the wind and his rhetoric is very uh, negative towards crypto. So I want to see that improve over time. Guys, thank you for still being on this live chat. We're going to stay on for a little bit longer. If you've got any of your favorite coins, drop them below or any questions in crypto whatsoever. Tell me about your journey, where you're writing crypto, and let's see if we can help each other on this journey. Steve says he prefers USDC. Yeah, USDC is a little bit better backed because uh, obviously Coinbase and sorry, Circle uh, share that with everybody. Uh, kind of Frosty, so happy I stumbled onto your channel. Great content. Definitely will be back. Appreciate that, Kinder. Please do subscribe because chances are if you lose this channel, YouTube ain't recommending it to you again. So hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Even better if you join the Discord community and that way we can, you can have this community in your pocket for any time you have any crypto questions. Uh, and yeah, Danish on Dogecoin. I, I've said this a few times on other videos. I actually think Dan uh, Doge is going to pump. I think it'll pump at some point, and uh, people will regret they didn't buy it at the levels they could have bought it. It's been sitting at twenty cents for a long time now. Uh, switch to the daily. I really think this is going to pump when Bitcoin has its thing, and we've got peak FOMO. 
this this can really pump. I definitely think so. The thing with Sheeb is Sheeb has more use cases. Go watch my video. Sheeb is actually better than Doge generally. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, Doge is in this triangle. We can't really get out of this triangle. It's trying to. If it breaks out of this triangle, it could head up to 32. And then it wants to head up to 35. But long way to go for Doge. It's been suppressed for a long time. But this is what Doge does. I mean, let's look at the weekly chart. Doge just chills for ages. And then when people feel like it, they feel like it. Look at that. In that one week was most of their gains. In that second week was most of their gains. So you've got to be in Doge for a couple of weeks. It doesn't matter if you're in it the rest of the time. You're just losing, right? But still, it's a bit of an uptrend here in the last four weeks, uh, which is positive on Doge. Uh, 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 uh. Ronak is asking for OMG Network again. Let's take a look. I have no idea what OMG Network is. It sounds funny. Let's take a look. Two billion market cap, not bad. Um, it's been to 15. We went back down to 14. Okay, what do they do? <laughs> Rico, which coin do you think is the best to invest in as of right now? I'd always have to go with Bitcoin, right? Boring answer, but I have to go with Bitcoin. For low risk, high return is, is Bitcoin. OMG Network is now OMG Foundation. Enya is building Bobber Network. Where is it? Okay, so it's a layer two. Optimistic roll-ups, gains to re reduce gas fees, improve transactions. Okay, what you know? What can I say about this one? Do you want me to? Is it you asking for technicals on this? Uh, Hundred percent of the supply is circulating, which is good. So you're not going to get massive dumps in the market. It's circulating. Uh, we, I'd want to see who holds the supply. Is it in many wallets? Is it distributed? Always want to do your tokenomics. Uh, did it? Rico asked, what's your favorite? And now he said, besides Bitcoin or ETH. Uh, I thought you gave me a way out there by saying uh, Bitcoin. But if you took out Bitcoin and Ethereum, I, it'll be between Solana and Cardano. If I was in advising an institutional friend, I'd say Solana because it's US-based. It's, um, it's a bit more institutional friendly, sorry. That's why I'd say. But for myself, I'd say uh, ADA. I have a bit more of an affinity with ADA, even though Solana's like ahead of it in terms of total value locked and usage. I'd, I'd go with ADA. Hope that answers your question. Guys, have every single one of you hit the like button. If you have, give me an emoji. Give me the thumbs up emoji if you've done that for me. And please, while you're there, head over to the Discord. I want all of you in here to head over to the free Discord. It's not going to cost you anything. Just click on Discord. And let's have some chats over there. We can do more of this. I'll notify you every time I'm live. And that way we can we don't have to start from scratch. We can make sure you're all on next time from the beginning with your favorite coins. Steve, Kuma is a meme coin I'm watching. How's Kuma doing, Steve? Kuma. Uh, Danish, how much Bitcoin will go down for correction? Like currently it's going down. Yep, let's take a look at Bitcoin. You can never look at Bitcoin too much. So we're getting the perfect rejection from the all-time highs now. Okay, On the daily chart, I'm perfectly fine. If Bi I think Bitcoin could, if we don't get a rotation earlier, there's a, there's a lot of smaller levels on the hourly time frame, which I'm not going to get into. Just on the daily time frame, if we come back down to 59, that's fine. Even if we came down to 54, I'm fine. Technically, you get worried when you break this cup and handle pattern at 52. Now, if I show you the, the EMA ribbon, you can see we got plenty of extension. So even if we had a calling off down to the EMA ribbon at 57, 58, and like I said, even 54 would penetrate you into your EMA ribbon, I'm still bullish, right? We're still, we're so super bullish extended on the EMA ribbon uh, that it's not worried. Nathan, thanks for the thumbs up. Rico, thanks for the thumbs up. Steve, thumbs up. Times two in a day this week. Yep, that's it. You've got to keep hitting like, guys. Even if you don't watch my videos, just hit like. Do you know what I mean? That's how we do it. <laughs> no, it's really important that you guys support the channel, guys. You know what crypto is like. There's so many crypto YouTubers, and YouTube just recommends the same ones every single time. 
uh, we need a different flavor every now and then with a different viewpoint. And uh, let's let's give that community a different viewpoint, right? That's some original thinking, some pragmatic thinking. Let's bring that. Kanishk, thanks for joining. Hope you've hit that like button, buddy. That's really important. What are your thoughts on Seoul right now? I'm currently holding it right now, expecting it to go up to 210. But do you think it'll go down to 170 first? Good question. We covered that a little while ago, but let's look at it again for those that have just joined. So let's remove our EMA ribbon. So what we can see with Solana is on the day chart, we're breaking out of this ascending triangle. So we're looking really bullish to head up and break the top of this wedge. We're going to get resistance at 190. If we get rejected from 190, do not be surprised if we come back down to 170 or even back down to 156 area. OK, so Kanish, you want to be looking at the 170 or even the 156. That being said, so for example, because it's very fine if we if we get a retest here off this level, that's fine. Okay, that's tying in with there. Okay, so that's your that's your one case. Your your next case, which is still fine, is to get something like this, right, where you test on on the wedge. That's also fine. Either way, you just want to come collect some support and head higher. That doesn't mean it can't head higher now. It can. If you can get a couple of strong days and all coins are moving, it can break straight to two fifteen, two sixteen. Now, my price target on this wedge is two forty three on Solana. So hopefully that answers your question, Kanisk. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to jump stay on for a few minutes, Steve Danish. So if there is anything else, let me know. Amit, please tell about SHIB and Algo. What exactly do you want to know about those two projects? I've made a video on Algo and go check that video out. Just posted it a couple of hours ago gives you my latest thoughts on Algorand. Shiba's doing what Shiba does, right? Shiba's, when it moves, it'll move. And when it doesn't, it doesn't. So there's not much. There's Anybody who tells you they're going to use a whole bunch of technical analysis on Shiba, I mean, come on, it's, it's you're in a triangle here and it, it's not breaking out right now. So technically you can expand this triangle, which I could do if I could be bothered uh, and you can move it across. But if it gets a breakout, th then this could be a continuation pattern. But we know what meme coins are like, right? So we can't really believe TA too much. But if you did, that would suggest we get a break to the upside because uh, it's cooling off. It's held its level, which is good. Normally, what you get with meme coins, after it runs up, it kind of drops down quite a lot. Uh, the fact that it's held this level is, is good for Sheep, and it shows that it has some use cases. Steve, you want to take a look at Dot, mate? Let's do that. Dot is another one which has a cup and handle pattern. They're all cup and handling. Look at this. Beautifully predicted. Guys, guys, if you're watching my videos, like, if you place that trade, you're, la you're laughing to the bank. I mean, look, I, I drew this ages ago. If you're watching my videos, you guys know I, I draw this in real time with you guys. Uh, this is not something where I come after it and post a YouTube video. Oh, look, it's pumped. No. The, look at, Go look at my link one, which we've just went through. The, the cup and handle's not even finished yet. So when this finishes, just obviously know that we created it here. <laughs> so dot. We finish our cup and handle pattern. We broke out. Our cup and handle pattern gives us a price target of 61 on DOT. Okay. I love DOT as a project. We know what's going on in terms of them launching their parachains. I've made a video on that. So type in Ijaza one parachains if you want a fundamental breakdown on that. Just go through my videos and, and watch it, guys. There's so much stuff in there because I just keep pumping out these videos. So go check out the videos. It explains everything about parachains and why it's bullish. But again, from a technical perspective, don't be surprised if this comes down, test, and head back up, right? It doesn't, it's not always smooth sailing, guys. There's an important resistance level here as well. So even if we carry on, we could end up coming down and then building back up, right? So you've got this level here at 48. It won't be easy to break that because that's your resistance from the level prior, right? So you've got this level here. So that's not going to be easy to break the all-time highs. But when we do, I'm looking for 61 on my dot. Danish said I just joined to so miss your old videos. Absolutely. Good luck keeping up. <laughs> By the time you watch all the old ones, I've put out another four today. So uh, best thing to do is just type in your favorite projects and uh, just watch those videos just so you keep up with my thinking on your favorite projects. So for example, if you like dot, type in dot, watch the videos on dot uh, and then you can get an idea. Any other question, guys? We've still got quite a few of you watching here. Feel free to let me know what you want to look at or even any psychology questions or trading questions or anything else. What else do you want to talk about? What the weather's like? Please don't forget to hit the like button. If there's even one of you that hasn't hit the like button, nothing. I'm not going to do anything at all, actually.
Now, I'd be really, really appreciated if you hit the like button. Uh, a video you've seen, go watch the algorithm video that I've put out today. Go watch the, I can see all the Discord notifications coming in. You guys have all jumped into the Discord. Great stuff. Uh, we got Sarakit kindly moderating, moderating that for us, uh, who keep you guys in shape. Make sure we're talking about stuff we need to be talking about. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, noted off the topic where are your thoughts on NFT Danish where are you from I'm from born in London but I'm Pakistani uh, off topic where are you from are you and you visited yeah well personal question where are you from da, da, da. off topic but what are your thoughts on NFT love NFT guys uh, love NFTs you got to be on NFTs uh, just guys jump in the discord if you have any particular nfts that you think i need to be looking at i want to do a deeper dive into some of the favorite nfts and make some purchases and we can do that on this channel together and, and uh, go on that journey together uh, let me know if you have any particular nfts that you're interested in. i've had a few different uh, companies from phantom network reach out to sponsor this channel on nfts but uh, let me know what nfts you like in the discord Nathan, I appreciate your perspective on Algorand. Pretty sure I've watched all of the videos you posted and they were great. Nathan, really appreciate that, buddy. Currently have 700 on my Algorand wallet and I'm getting around 0 0.08 daily. See, what Nathan is doing is perfect. He's dollar cost averaging in Algorand, right? So what he's doing, which is very smart, and it's not financial advice, but it shows that he knows what he's doing, is whilst we've been sideways consolidating in this wedge, he's just been buying a little bit every day, right? He's not going to notice that going out of his bank account, just a little bit of our ground every day. But over time, when this pumps, it's going to pay off dividends for him. Fontolon, I personally don't use eToro. Uh, I much rather use uh, crypto specialist exchanges. Have you heard about the new upcoming game? Gaia I, Everworld, where you can get NFTs from. Yes, I've heard about Gaia. Need to do a deep dive into that. Where did I hear that from? Yes, I've heard about Gaia, uh, Rico. Where did I? I don't know where I heard about that from. But uh, guys, we still got quite a few viewers on here. Please hit that like button. Let's get this. Can we get this to 30 likes? Is that pushing it? Or how are we going to do that, guys? Can you guys figure that out while I'm doing this? Can you figure out how you can get me to 30 likes as a community? Can we do that? I mean, let's do that. Uh, Let's take a look. What else have we got moving right now? In fact, this is what I like to do sometimes, guys. I'll just come on to... And this is what you guys should be doing as well. Come on to CoinMarketCap. And just, every so often, just sort by 24 hours. By the way, I've got a video coming out on how to make the most out of CoinMarketCap. So if you want to see that, let me know. And uh, I'll push that out. And just look, who's getting whacked? So Bitcoin's the weakest today, which is fine. I ignore these small ones. And let's see what's on the upside. Solana, which is what we've got. Ren, which we've got. Guys, you've got to remember, why is Ren moving? Because we know they're in that ecosystem, right? They're in the ecosystem with Phantom, with the other coins. You guys got to know these. What are the what are the ones which move in solidarity? VeChain is up. You saw why VET is up, guys. I've just showed you that on the charts, right? Let's go back to the VeChain chart. We're up because we're going to come out of this massive triangle. This will give you, this is going to be explosive, guys. If we get a fully confirmed breakout, we go beyond 15 cents. VET is going to 33, okay? We're going to be doing pretty well on VET, considering I was buying this a long time ago. Uh, Steve, two other metaverses to look out for are NetVRK and Blocktopia. Thank you for those, Steve. Again, should we make a might be worth making a metaverse channel on Discord where we can have all our uh, metaverse chats there, guys. Thank you so much. You've got it to twenty three likes. Can we get another seven more? Let's get seven more likes. If we can invite anybody or anybody who's not hit the like button yet, let's get me to thirty on this video. That'd be really appreciated. And hopefully, then the next time we stream, YouTube will be a bit kinder and we'll get some more people in here. Uh, so, yep, yeah, definitely climbing to the upside. Okay, Calf, great question. Thank you for joining and thanks for your first comment. So the purpose of VET is it's a it's a supply chain tool. Okay, so VET has a lot of partnerships with a lot of big companies, including Louis Vuitton, including a lot of big banks and Chinese companies. They're supply chain management. Okay, so imagine you're tracking some supply chains. I don't know if you're familiar with RFID, but you can Google it. If you're like Tesla 
and you want to track all your parts, your component parts for a car, which are everywhere around the world, you can do so using the VET project, okay? So that's really useful uh, for a lot of companies. I mean, imagine this in the future, you buy a pair of Nikes or Air Forces or Jordans or whatever you're buying, right? And on there, there'll be a QR code on the box and you can scan it and it will give you a unique like NFT or a code which tells you it's authentic. So no one's tapered with it, tampered with it. You know it's legit, right? Or so many other use cases, right? You're buying an iPhone. It could have a code on there so you know, okay, this is legit. It's a legit iPhone. It's not a fake. Really important for uh, counterfeits and a really useful tool with a great use case. Uh, so don't sleep on VET, guys. I've always liked VET from day one. Kanishk, when do you think VeChain is going to break out? Guys, it's technically doing it now. Can you not see? So this daily candle, if we finish above the breakout, we're getting a breakout. But obviously, I always like to wait till we get a 2% breakout. Okay, so if I just take my measure tool. So my confirmed breakout, 2%. Yeah, we're nearly there, guys. We're pretty much there. 12.1 12 cents. And we've we've got a clean breakout there. Then I'm then I'm I'm fine with that breakout. Uh, so that's vet. So vet is officially broken out. As long as we get a close above the wedge, that's a vet breakout. Guys, twenty five likes. Five more guys. Come on, don't let me down, guys. Five more. Five more. Uh, calf. It looks very cool. Glad I found your stream. I'm in the twenty third. Oh, you're the twenty third. Twenty third of what? You're the twenty third like. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Oh, thanks for joining, Calf. Please make sure you subscribe because uh, you know what YouTube are like. They might not ever show you this ever again and then you'll be back watching uh, exactly as I predicted every day. And uh, we all don't want to be doing that, do we? Yovana, thank you for your comment. I think it's your first time commenting. Thank you for joining. We're at 27 likes now. Really appreciate it. Can you look at Koti and Matic? Yovana, please scroll back. We did cover a lot of Koti and Matic. I also posted a video earlier on Koti, but if you're short on time, very, very quickly, Koti is looking very good. You can see it on the daily chart. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the 4 hourly just to show you again. We can see a really nice uptrend on Koti, creating this W pattern. Okay, we're creating this W pattern. And if we break out of this W pattern, we could be heading first for 57 cents and then we can head higher. So Koti does have some work to do because we, we have been uh, heading to the downside for a few days now. Um, but from the broader perspective, we still haven't invalidated our massive cup and handle pattern. So my long term price target remains of 80, 80 cents per Koti because we've now just had a retest. And as long as we head back up, we're good to go on our price target on Koti. Four more. Three more now, Calf. Three more likes to get to 30. And then you guys are the best. For such a small early community, you guys are the first ones here. So guys, when this channel uh, starts to grow, I won't forget you guys who are sitting on this stream one-to-one. Uh, -one. Make sure you're joined. Make sure you become a member of the channel as well so you can become one of the OGs of this channel. Uh, and uh, you, can be, you can say, I told you so. You've been trading with me since day. Uh, so go ahead and hit hit channel. You get a, you get a new unique sticker uh, on your name that people know you've been in this channel for a long time. You get access to a bunch of emojis as well, so you can spam the comments with your favorite altcoins as well. Uh, Apophis, right after they said it could go up or down, good. Uh, from Rusellu, thank you for joining, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Please hit the like button. We're at 29 likes. Let's get another like, guys, before I head off. Uh, can we, what's, what are you asking? Can we look at ATA chart for the next big step? I don't know what ATA is. What is ATA? ATA US dollar. I'm assuming it's this one. Is it? I'm coming in this completely cold. Let's have a look. Uh... This looks really boring. No, this project looks dead to me. I don't see any signs of revival here. Uh, yeah, you're on your own with this one uh, from Uselu. I wouldn't be recommending this project. So I'll close that one out. At a project, not for me. Uh, thank you very much. Closely following your channel, Yovana. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. We hit 30 likes. You absolute legends. I don't even know how you did that because uh, 
we weren't even on that many viewers so uh, 30 likes love it uh keep going keep getting more likes and it just means that youtube will recommend this to more people and we could build this community guys hopefully all of you guys are in the discord chat right now please head over to the discord chat uh, make sure you're there so because then next time I'm live you just get a straight link I'll give you a link and you can straight come into this uh, Anthony thank you for commenting thank you for jumping on uh, you still believe in Algorand yeah I still believe in Algorand I believe in these layer 1 plays like I've said these layer 1 plays look at the pattern Algorand I mean people are sleeping on these projects they're all undervalued when you look at Ethereum I'm going to show you one more thing, guys. If you've stayed this long in the stream, you deserve this. One second. One second. You're going to deserve this. But please smash the like button while this is loading up. This is gold, right? You tell you tell me in the chats if you've heard this said anywhere else. So this column here, market cap to total value locked. Okay. This is telling you of all the total value locked in the ecosystem in DeFi. So Ethereum, that's 161 billion. Ethereum's market cap is three times this number. Okay, are you following that? It's three times this number. For Binance, it's almost four times. So Binance is four times. Now, when you come down to our favorite projects, like a Terra, it's 1.6. Phantom, it's 1.3, guys. Okay, so 1.3 times versus a four times market cap. <clears throat> you can double, triple this number, triple the phantom number to build out that ecosystem, right? So if it's 4 billion, yeah, and market cap to total value locked is 1.3 times, imagine if it was four times like Binance's. That's a 20 billion phantom. You understand, guys? That's a 20 billion phantom, which would give you a massive, massive uh, price increase. That's a $10 phantom right there. You see what I mean? So even based on its current metrics, I'm saying without more value locked, it's just not valued the same. They're paying three times the value on Ethereum than they are for something on Phantom. So almost what they're saying is it's more important that value is locked in Ethereum. We're valuing that as three times. We're valuing it four times for Binance. Well, why is Phantom so underrated? Right? And it's going to come. These will all come up. Uh, and that's what's important here. You want to be looking at this really important, guys. Uh, you'll see me cover this on the channel. Hit like if you've not heard that before. Uh, comment below if you've not heard that before, because that's really, really important. Uh, yep. Uh, where's Algorand on here? Why is Algorand not on here? There we go. So there you go. Algorand is really high. So Algorand really needs to pick up its... Um, it's uh, total value locked, okay? Really important. Now, please remember, total value locked isn't everything, right? Different coins have different strengths in different things. Cardano has strength in its community, right? Algorand has strength in its founding team and its block finality. Other coins will be known for different things, right? Uh, Terra, Solana have really good total value locked. Phantom has really good total value locked. And for me, total value locked is a great, great, great measurement. It's not the only one, but it's a very, very important measurement, uh, which we need to look at anywhere. Any other final question, guys? We are ending this stream on 31 lovely likes. Thank you so much for those likes. Uh, we'll go again live probably maybe tomorrow, if not, maybe on the weekend, actually. Uh, we'll do another session if you guys are interested. Let me know if there's a specific time. I mean, maybe we'll coordinate that in Discord. Go ahead over to the Discord. Let's try to coordinate a time because I know a lot of you are coming in from different parts of the world and uh, therefore it's difficult to jump on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, Steve says Algo has a really high market cap. Yep, you're absolutely right. Very high. And again, that's because they're not heavy in total value locked. Al I mean, if you did Cardano's valuation, it'd be ridiculous, right? But it's not just about DeFi. Some projects aren't even focused on DeFi. They're more focused on NFTs or play to earn or other uh, applications of crypto. Yovana, thank you very much. Apophis, thank you very much. Guys, if I, all of you subscribe to the channel, you've got to be subscribed to the channel because I know what's going to happen. Once you leave here, YouTube is going to throw you back into the... Uh, YouTube is going to throw you back into the mess of the crazy ecosystem that is exactly as I predicted. Okay? And you don't want to end up over there again. Discord link. Anthony, I'll put this back in the chat, the Discord link for you. There we go. 
All right, guys, we'll call that a wrap. Thank you guys for joining this. Please head over to the Discord. Consider becoming a, a member of the channel. Okay, that way you'll get access to the emojis, you get access to the badge, you can ask me any questions anytime you want. You don't have to wait for a stream like this, you can just ask me anytime you want, and I'll give you one-to-one -one TA and analysis on your favorite coins. And uh, thank you for joining, guys. It's been an absolutely lovely live stream. The video on Phantom is going to come out very shortly. I've got some really cool videos lined up for you guys, so make sure you uh, stay tuned and watch them uh, from whether it's Phantom, whether it's Algorand, Coty. We've got videos on Phantom's tokenomics, which I need to push out as well. Uh, da -da -da. We've also got uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. We've got Coin Market Cap, how to make the best out of Coin Market Cap. If you have any other video ideas, I'm going to open up another channel. I'm going to ask the moderators to open up another channel on uh, on Discord where you guys can post your video ideas as well. So let that get, get that going. Let's put some ideas for evergreen videos in terms of you know how to use Coin Market Cap, how to use Trading View, how to do these kind of things. We can help the community get better at different things in terms of the crypto space. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll see you in the next one.